It's Ring of Honor weekend for Aggie football. Adam Young pleased to be joined by a new inductee, Roy Jarella, played for the Aggies in the 60s. Great player here, one of the best kickers in program history. Congrats on the honor. Uh, what does this mean to you? Well, I'll tell you what, it means a lot. It, um, uh, three things come to mind. You know, I was driven. I, was, I, I had many influences in my life uh, regarding kicking uh, and um, su also support, great support from my family. I'm a Canadian. Mm -hmm. uh, my uh, my family um, uh, made it so so I can finish my high school in the United States uh, and also pursue my athletic uh, opportunities and uh, also uh, uh, the impact that I have made over the years playing uh, pro football and football here in New Mexico State and uh, what people don't realize is that in 1969 you know I made the uh, 1969 calls all star team that play against the uh, world champion New York Jets. Some really cool honors for you. Of course, you're a Hall of Famer here. This weekend is just getting started, but there's so many alums and I'm sure family and friends for you. How neat is this weekend to kind of reminisce about the old days? Oh, it's great. It's a great feeling. It's uh, bringing back a lot of memories and um, you know, a lot of stories. And um, uh, it's like, uh, you know, you're revved up again and you're all excited. And uh, But it's good to meet everybody face-to-face uh, uh, -face and uh, share stories. You have three Super Bowl rings with the Steelers, so some great moments professionally. What are your favorite moments from your college days? Well, my college days, um, uh, my moment I remember the most is when I first started kicking soccer style halfway through my junior year. And Warren Woodson, who's never seen a soccer style kick before, and here he is, a 64-year-old man, um, all of a sudden, I, uh, you know, he asked, uh, can anybody else kick? Uh, back in the day, if you can kick, you can kick, you know. Yeah. So I figured, hey, you know, I've been practicing a little bit on the side. I can give it a shot. So I said, hey, coach, that's I can kick. <laughs> so I, I stepped in there and, and I lined up soccer style position. He, he stopped practicing everything. <laughs> to his megaphone, he says, um, son, he says, um, he says, what are you doing? He says, you're standing way over here. The ball's way over there. And the goal are way far left of you. I, he says, how are you going to put that ball over there? I simply said, as his coach, I said, I played soccer. He laughed, and so did all the other uh, coaches and, and players. And so I lined up and kicked it, and uh, from about 34 yards out, and I had a lot of distance. And, um, but I missed it two way to the left. And, but I knew then that I had something special, and I worked on it. And nobody knew or understood soccer style kicking. So by trial and error, I developed myself. Finally, Roy, I know this program is special to you. You're still around often, so you're around the program. What does this Aggie football program mean to you? It means a lot. It means, um, you know, people across the nation, people here don't understand that. A lot of people talk about the Aggies wherever I go, you know, mm -hmm. and um, there, there's a little interest in, as to why this program has always been kind of up and down. Mm -hmm. And um, I just try to explain to them, you know, that it's a great place to be, but they say it's hard to recruit, which I don't really agree. But uh, you know, it's all it's all um, recruiting and development. Yeah. And, and uh, so once we get that underway and started and going, I uh, says you know we're going to be pretty good because you can recruit here. You know, it's a small town. It's, the campus is located on the edge of town. Yeah. I recruited um, uh, a, a quarterback from um, Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. Chad Salisbury, mm -hmm. six six. Everybody wanted. All the SEC schools wanted him as a tight end, mm -hmm. and um, but he wanted to play quarterback. He said, "If I can go to your school and try for quarterback, he said, I'll come." And that's exactly what happened. Roy, congrats and welcome into the Ring of Honor. Thank you very much. I'm very excited, and it's a great honor. That's new Ring of Honor member Roy Jarella.